Hello refining enthusiasts! In this video I'll take you on a journey to a small gold leaching plant to demonstrate the process of extracting gold from ores. First, the rocks are crushed using a heavy duty hammer mill. Then they are processed in a ball mill to achieve a desired particle size before being transferred to the leaching tanks for further treatment. Before large-scale operations, the ore is sampled and fire assayed using appropriate fluxes to determine its composition and gold content. The collected metal is cleaned and then subjected to the cupellation process to isolate and recover precious metals. Cupellation is a pyrometallurgical technique that was invented during the early Bronze Age. After collecting the precious metals bit, it is chemically tested to determine its gold content. After assaying the sample, two tons of fine ore are leached in the tanks using a gold leaching agent. The leaching process took approximately 30 hours to complete. Afterwards, the pregnant solution is pumped into a filter press to separate the slurry pulp into the solid cakes.
The pregnant solution is continuously monitored using an atomic absorption machine. Initially, samples are prepared and analyzed with the machine to ensure accurate measurements. Additionally, the gold content is tested visually using a stannous chloride for a quick qualitative assessment. The gold in the solution was absorbed onto the activated carbon in a process that was completed in 18 hours. I also find it interesting to show you the smelting process of 600 pounds of ore concentrate in a rotary furnace. I took a 200 gram sample of activated carbon to my lab to recover the gold from it. First I placed the activated carbon in my electric kiln to burn it to the ashes. However, I found this method ineffective so I decided to burn it using a gas furnace instead. After burning the ash, I transferred it to a beaker to process it chemically. The beaker was placed on a hot plate and some hydrochloric acid was added. A few drops of concentrated nitric acid were added to the hot solution. A stannous chloride test was carried out on the solution to check its gold content. The next day I filtered the solution to capture precipitated impurities. The clean gold solution was transferred to a beaker and placed on a hot plate to heat it to a boil. I slowly began adding sodium nitrate to the boiling solution to start precipitating the gold. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share your ideas in the comments and subscribe for more content.